Any comments you want to make, sir? No comments. 21-year-old Miles Hudson, possibly too stunned to speak. Moments before walking out of this door, he got hit with a fine equaling the 2022 average annual salary in Washington. Um, the court is awarding the city in the amount of $83,619.97. Hudson sat alone in court with no attorney, answering the judge's questions. Um, I communicate with them via email. Okay. okay, and... Meanwhile... The prosecution seemed to question if the incognito defendant was actually the infamous Belltown Hellcat owner. Um, a gentleman identifying himself as Mr. Hudson is present in court, although he is wearing a full face mask. Also in court Tuesday, the Belltown Hellcat enabler, Rebecca Hudson. Please don't record me. I don't give you permission. Do not record me. Rebecca Hudson asking for privacy in a public space. While for months, her son has continued to run amok at all hours of the morning in Seattle. In fact, Rebecca Hudson is actually one of the registered owners of the Belltown Hellcat. In a letter to the city months ago, she claimed her son no longer had the car. But according to Miles Hudson's own social media account, that does not seem to be true. Any more questions? Despite saying he wouldn't comment seconds earlier, Hudson decided to talk about the $83,000 he now owes the city. How are you going to come up with the $83,000? I'm going to come up with it? Uh, it's a little bit emotional. I wouldn't say come up, but um, who's to say I don't have it? Now, despite the judge's stern tone and that high dollar amount in fines, today's court hearing was more for show. That's because the city cannot garnish Hudson's wages because he doesn't have an official job. And they can't really seize his car because his mom co-owns it. But Hudson still has some criminal cases he's facing, including two reckless driving charges, as well as an investigation into cyber harassment. You can count on continued coverage. Back to you.